I honestly think that it's probably it's probably dangerous to hook up with girls in New York City because they they probably have like the the most advanced like whatever the most advanced like strain of HPV is. Yeah. Like I would be worried about hooking up with girls in New York. Yeah, yeah, cuz they, they probably got they probably they got to listen. It's a human petri dish. Like, those girls are all Listen, a lot. When you do drugs, yeah. you do drugs till 6 in the morning. Well, guess what happens when you run out of drugs at 6 in the morning? You f a drug dealer for more of them. Mm. But guess what that drug dealer just did? Mm. Another chick for drugs. Mm -hmm. And guess what happens? Mm -hmm. That shit go. You know what I mean? It's like it goes around and around and around and around. Yeah. And New England is like, no, nah, it's great because you have, you have like six gears of life here. Mm -hmm. You've got like mountains, beach, mm -hmm. countryside. You've got country music if you want it. You can be city. You can be... You, you can play New York for what it... You can treat New York like a... Yeah. Because New York is great if you treat it like the... That it is. Yeah. If you're a there, prostitute there kept her mouth hours. shut, it'd be great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? If a prostitute was hot, kept her clean, mm -hmm. and no one had a problem, it would be fantastic, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Let's just be honest. I don't even think everybody's wife would have a fucking problem. It was like, yeah, as long as you're not catching anything, it's fine. Keep her fucking mouth shut. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. That's what you treat New York like. Because mm. New York is a big fucking city where you can eat nine kinds of delicious food. If you, if you can pinpoint the, the, the best restaurants are there, mm -hmm. you have the median income, mm -hmm. so you can have the foods and the provisions and whatnot, but you don't want to fucking live. You don't want to marry a prostitute. No. You don't want her throwing shit at your dad at the, at the Thanksgiving Day table. Hell no. You know you fuck me. <laughs> you know you fuck me, Fred Hyde. And the, what the equivalent of that is that you, if you're in New York long enough, you 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 smell like the street. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You smell like rat fur. Like the edge, the edges of your clothes are just a little bit dingier. Yes. Your hands have like a. Yeah, you have like a certain type of bo. Yeah. Yeah. Your feet have different kinds of sores on you them. Take a little you bit. Of, yeah, you take a little bit of the subway with you. But if you can treat that fucking city like the fucking whore it is, mm -hmm. that's why New England is so great. Because you, you're you know three hours from that place. That's why New England is uh, is wonderful. Not Boston, just Rhode just Rhode Island, Hartford. <laughs> <laughs> New, everywhere except Boston. Eh, yeah, everywhere except Boston. Too many Chinese Dude, people. Boston fucking sucks yeah, ass. It's too many cornball Chinese people. Like Yuck. clean. I saw a Chinese girl yelling at her like NPC white kid boyfriend yesterday at Hemingway's. I was having oysters, <laughs> and uh, she was like a like a mid Chinese girl, mm -hmm. but he probably thought she was so smoking because he was fetishizing her Asianness, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. And he looked like a he looked like a like Casey Neistat kind of mm -hmm. like, <laughs> I have an Asian girlfriend. <laughs> and uh, their tray of uh, of uh, raw, their raw bar tray came and he took the lemon to like lemon the top of the, to squeeze lemon over the top of the clams. And she was like, put it back. So she could take a picture of it. And she like, she like Asian mom scolded him. Yeah. In like a knee jerk reaction. Oh yeah. Where I instantly realized how the hell do people date Asian chicks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, damn, that's dude. Awesome, like that must man. be rough. Like getting scolded in a way that's like very foreign to you as like a, an Irish kid. Yeah. Was he, did he look Jewish? No. You know, Jews love they love Jews will, they'll do anything for a Chinese girl. They love Asians. Specifically Chinese. Yeah. Jews and Chinese. They're like they're tight. They're like this. I know. Yeah. I wonder why. Well, they obviously fetishize the fuck out of the Asian chicks. I'm surprised the Asian chicks don't take that shit more personal. Because, like, the five, the 10% of, like, cool Asian, like, band chicks that are, like, true, like, kind of, like, rough around the edges, mm. I feel like they would, like, point that out. Eh, I mean, if, if, if another race girl was fetishizing you for your whiteness, would you care? You'd be like, this is dope. I am white. I wouldn't marry you, though. <laughs> she wouldn't marry me over it. Yeah. Like, I feel like... I feel like the the hunt from the guy's perspective is like, I have to fuck Asian pussy. Hmm. It's so good. Hmm. Well, that's not true. I've ne but I, I, you know I, it's weird in person. I don't think I've ever. I feel like I've never. I don't really feel like I've ever met anybody who really fetishized Asians like that, like hardcore. Who do, do we know? You? No. Yeah, me. I fucking can't stand Asian girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm. But there, I have nothing personal against. I. That's that's weird because it's like a. I mean, I, I've I've heard that there's people that are that have yellow fever and they like they're super into Asians. Yeah, I feel like I don't think I know anybody who's like that though. Yep, you do. Who? I don't want to say it. Who? Oh, is it? Is it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like can't help himself. Yeah. Like absolutely cannot help yeah. themselves.
And like, that's just, I mean, it's, it, hey, look, to each his own. I mean, I, I like, I like, I, I tell, you know, I, I make it very, very evident that like, I like, or I mean, I'm fucking, I like Irish, chi- like white chicks. Uh-huh. Irish, like the, the fucking well, that's, Irish, know, the best. You know, delicious tacos, you know, on Twitter, you don't know on Twitter, delicious no. tacos. No. You should follow, the, well, I know you don't use Twitter, but, um, he, I don't use it well. <laughs> he, he, he had a comment once that everybody come, everybody, uh, you always eventually have a yearning for the ham. Is the ham Irish chicks? The ham is like Polish, Irish, like, you know. Ah, yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's like salt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I get it. I remember in, in uh, college, I was, I got to, I was, uh, this Asian chick, I was, I was excited. I was like, oh boy, what's this going to be like? And then it was just like, uh, whack. 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 It was whack. Yes. And she had a hemorrhoid. Oh. Oh. From what? I don't know. How does an Asian girl get hemorrhoid? Their diet's so simple. How does a how does a nineteen year old fucking ninety pound Asian girl get a hemorrhoid? I yeah. couldn't tell you. I didn't start getting hemorrhoids until I was like two seventy. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if she like took shits like a like a fucking truck driver. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> like that doesn't make sense. That doesn't. Make she was sense. shitting in this. Yeah, she was she was using a a, a squat oh, toilet, a ground toilet. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Yeah, no, I, I mean, it's just, it's just, I don't know. Um, maybe it's just from uh, my, my big racist father that used to just say, you know, raccoons don't fuck skunks. Yeah, it's shit like. I that. mean, that's what you know. That's fucking. That's how it is. And I, you I, ever I, hear Muhammad Ali talk about segregation? No. He like uh, it's, loved it. On, yeah, on some TV show, he's thought he. There's a clip of, a clip of him like ver- in very plain, plain words explaining why that's how it's supposed to be. That's how. Uh, what's his face is uh, Doctor Omar. Dr. Umar talks about, like, black guys fucking white chicks and vice versa. Yeah. And he's like, look at this fucking snow bunny bullshit. Is it this video? Like, black dudes thinking white chicks and thinking it's cool. We don't need to, we don't need to watch this. But, yeah, I think it's, I think it is that video. But, yeah, that's, um, I remember I dated a black girl once and we were walking around Boston and I was getting, I was getting, uh, all these, like, mean, mean mugging looks from black guys. Mm Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, they're right. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh shit this is strange oh shit i've done something uh this is not how it's supposed to be yeah yeah i know it's i and i think it's like double funny in this world in 2023 to just be like this girl's so hot mm-hmm. and it's like the whitest chick in the world remember um actually do you remember <laughs> don't be a menace to south central you ever seen that look up don't be a menace to south central my milk of magnesia i think it's i think that r- the the races they shouldn't um i think it's the, you know if you're in love with someone that's another another race than whatever, but if you're going after them as like a racial prize, I think that's like really disrespectful. I think this is so funny. You remember this from Dobie Menace? No. Oh my God, you're gonna love this. It's right here before me. Do my eyes not deceive me, or am I looking at the goddess Isis herself? Can you uh, can you do me a favor, my brown skin angel? Can you tap that white girl for me? My milk of magnesia. Oh. <laughs> oh. After the devil made you, he broke the milk. Well, maybe you and I could uh, make a little jungle feeding. I love the casting they did for that, wow. too. Like, that chick is so yeah. funny looking. Like, Yeah, man. <laughs> like, that, that is the funniest fucking chick. And then Dr. Umar, like, pointing out all these, like, football players that are dating white chicks and stuff yeah. like that. Like, um, and like, let's like, what are we going to do? Sit here and fucking pretend like, like white chicks don't do it real hard now. Like collegiate level jockey white chicks. Don't yeah. worry. They call us stinkies. Yeah. But I never liked those types of chicks anyway. I like dorky. I, mean, I think we all the same. But yeah. Like dorky white chicks. Oh yeah. Or, or, or computer science white chicks or, oh, yeah. or, or, you know, what it is, what it is. Um, but like those, like those jock broads. <laughs> yeah. Those broads were nasty. Nasty. Yeah. Mean, stupid. Yeah. They're like uh they're like talking to like frat guys. They're stupid as hell and they stink. Yeah. Their fu- their dorm rooms smell like Febreze and fucking like fat guy ass somehow. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ever find one you ever come across one of those? Uh like a like a, a girl like a hot girl whose dorm rooms for some reason smells like a, a like a fat guy's fucking ass crack? Yes. Mixed with Febreze like they they try and that that's that's the funny part. Those those girls always think that the the way to um, that's to me that's the grossest and funniest part about them. Like it's not the it's not them that getting railed by by football players. It's not them getting railed by black guys. It's not the drinking. 
It's that they think if you smell feces, if you smell feces and like cheese, like ear cheese from a fat guy mm -hmm. in your room, that the thing to do is to cover it with an air freshener. Mm, that's how you that's clean. the grossest part to me. That's the very that's the tippy top grossest part to me. Is they think that you um, uh, the the way around like hygiene is to spray some cleaner shit. On yeah, it. like the girl who sprayed the Febreze in on the green room was a jock chick. Yeah, the girl that was like, ah, oh, it smells in here. <laughs> Literally, a hand came. Like you know how Sam hates fucking smells, and it would be like a cardinal sin to fucking spray. We saw a fucking hand day one shooting. Like, imagine if just a hand came around that wall right there with a fucking Febreze cannon and was Ugh. like, tss. it was like an attack. I, I thought it was literally like, like they called and were like, this is how you really fuck with these guys. Yeah. Put a Febreze cannon in the room. Yeah. What and I was like, oh. day, day one of what? <laughs> Shooting uh, World Peace One. Uh, Some fucking dumb bitch. Mm. Like, just sprayed because we're fucking in a car. We drove down there, like, fucking probably smelling like a fucking a thigh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, the inside of a fucking nut sack. <laughs> so, yeah, we probably, yeah, it is what it is. But stinky. Yes, yeah, stinky. But, yeah, no, those are girls with, like, shit stains in their underwears and shit like yeah. that. Yeah, girls, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, girls who have panties in their car? Yeah. You ever see that? Yep. I've, see, I've seen things in, like, that, the jock chick's car. Yeah. And they always marry the same type of guy. Plain guy. Yeah. Like... Boston Sam Adams yep. guy, golf like man, plaid print, sh like a Teddy Teddy print, sh like whatever the yep. J Crew striped. <laughs> Probably the, honestly, the most money they could find. Yeah, usually the money. That's called beta. That's called they call that they say alpha fucks beta bucks. Yep. So they go out and fuck all the alphas, and then when it's time to settle down and they need resources, they find the beta that has the resources. And, like, Tiny Head Man walks in and, like, does yeah. the deal. Yeah, and yeah. he's nice enough. Like, I knew how to, like, get to them. Oh, yeah. I could close them quickly. But, like, when I came time to switch the shit out of their cars, mm -hmm. like, move the car seat, mm -hmm. the stuff in that fucking car mm. was filthy. Yeah. Most moms, most chicks' cars in general, all races money. It's, it's honestly shocking. Yeah. Chicks' cars are fucking filthy. The, like the, they should be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> you know, you know what's really sweet is when you can tell the dad was a dork. That's always sweet. Mm. When you can tell that, like, if they go get their registration and it's in a plastic bag. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know their dad was a dork, and I, it's like sweet. Yeah. That's a good catch. Yeah. Like, ask a girl where her license and registration is, or just her registration and insurance card. Yeah. If it's in a plastic bag, and yeah. you ask her why is it in there, and she goes, I don't know. I just always did that from when they were sixteen. It's oh like wow. A sweet thing. It's like, oh, you were raised by a good family. That's good. It is because like I, I get if you sell twenty five cars a month, I see twenty five registrations a month mm -hmm. or more. Mm -hmm. Um, but the filth in fucking like it would be like the jock mom that was like, yeah, I played uh, volleyball in college. And it's like, hey, your body count's like over fifty. If my if my car was that dirty, you would yell at me. Yeah, but, and my but, cars are dirty. Yeah, but, but if, if it, it was that dirty, you'd be like, Sam, you got a fucking just issue. Just take it here. to a car wash one you day. Have an issue. Yeah, just just <laughs> do yourself a favor. Like, just pick up all the shit. Take take one of those crates you got. Mm -hmm. Take a box, an Amazon box that you're about to throw away, mm -hmm. and put everything in the box, mm -hmm. and then just put it in the trunk for now. Yeah. At least everything's out of there. Mm -hmm. And then you could take a, a cloth. A baseball bat. A baseball bat, and then bash, <laughs> bash yourself in the nose. Yeah. Gotta, <laughs> but, like, it's, it, it, is cra it was crazy to me. And honestly, I've always, like, I, those are the girls that, like, I would get in, like, drunk arguments with that would, like, that's not funny. Like, you, know, <laughs> you guys are smelly. <laughs> Shut up. Well, it's, they, they're they're steamrollers, bro. I don't even feel bad. I, you know, a couple, maybe even like a year ago, I'd feel bad about having this conversation. Like, yeah. These broads will steamroll. Yeah, yeah. Like, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. These, like, jock, like, serial, like, I love getting fucking They're just ravenous. Them. Yeah, they're ravenous. They're un, un, uninhibited. Uh... Yeah, it's like if, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't mind. It, it'd be like if no one ever grew the fuck up. Mm -hmm. It's like having like a pussy addiction, mm. but like forever, mm -hmm. and it just never hitting the brakes, mm -hmm. and like you're in your vocal about it. Mm -hmm. You're like, yeah, dude, I had this one chick and I was railing her, and then I fucking like I was like, I gotta get out of here, and then I went to another chick's house and I was like railing her, <laughs> yeah, and then I fucking was getting blown and she was sucking the <laughs> juice off my.
<laughs> yeah. you're like, all right, man. Like, all right. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, <laughs> keep that fire. Like, I don't mind if you do. Just keep it to your fucking self. Like, this is all yeah, we well, talk you're, about. You're 35, and yeah. I've heard that story a bunch of times. Yeah, before. like, I get it. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, I have, like, friends who do, like, uh, I was fucking her, and then I went over, and I started fucking her. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, and again, like I, I yeah. get it, like I, I it, pussy's cool and shit, like it's fine, but like I don't want to hear about it. Yeah, it's like when people tell you like drug stories. Yeah, like if I said like I, it's not even it's one not that's funny. interesting. It's not interesting. Oh, I did coke and then I did coke and then I was like oh, and then I did coke and I was like oh, and I was drinking because I could drink more because oh, let me guess you could drink more because you do coke and then you could do and then you drink more and then I drank more. <laughs> and you're like, ah. <laughs> it's, it's the new logistics story. Yeah. Like, there was so much coke. Like, how much was there? Like, unless you. <laughs> and then me, I drove. Yeah. And then I, dro <laughs> and then I drove my. Dro and we drove fast. Mm. It's like, all right. Mm. Have you seen this? This this is crazy. This she fled she to China? Uh, she fled to China. Is she hot? Uh, no. No. Whoa. Cool drift. Whoa. Good at drifting. Damn. <laughs> There's another do, video. Do, do, There's do, another do, video do, of, like, do. the actual. Uh, the, when she's that was a Porsche. What the fuck kind of yeah, car is that? It's a Porsche. Was it? Yeah, it looks like it. You know what you can get right? You, you, do you give a fuck about the Taycan? No, no. Okay, okay. You can get one for half, uh, less than half off right now. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa! Look at that car. What happened to her? She fled. Uh, she. If there's the, I really like DUI. Chi I like I like drunk Chinese chick. That's really funny. Yeah, that's a that's she a kill the passenger. Strange. She killed yeah. the passenger and fled to China before they could get her. Mm. Mm. Whoa, to her native Bellevue Police. Won't. So early morning, she crashed near. The yeah, details where's don't. The, where's the video? Taken to Harborview Medical Center. There's a Center. video of oh, besides the drift. There's a video of her like going fast. We gotta see it. I uh, gotta see it. Was the passenger Chinese? Because uh, if so, so, then right <laughs> cancels out. Right, combination number two. She <laughs> killed a Chinese and then she moved, she fled to China. It's their problem uh, right. to deal scene, with. But she Brian Jackson, Pfizer. They That's came. her. That was her right there. <laughs> That's true. That's true. She's like the old newscaster <laughs> trick, huh? Oh, yeah, there was, uh, well played, Mrs. Footage Wang. Of the Porsche right this. before it crashed looks like something straight out of an action film. You can see a white car zipping through 112th Avenue. Where is she? Bellevue. The driver maintains Washington? lane position yeah. until it starts to curve towards the SR520 Clover entrance the car skids on its side at least 300 feet clips the concrete wall flies over the pond by the nice. freeway entrance and tumbles into the brush this is the car upon landing awesome the driver 26 year old ting ye was in a 2020 porsche 911 cool Ye's car. passenger 27 year old yabao lu died in the front seat but the speed limit there's 35 miles an hour thanks oh. nerd <laughs> yeah thanks the tactician speed limit was 35 yeah. miles Dude, per hour fucking 911s are fun to drive dog she was just drifting it yeah she saw on. it in she was auditioning for Fast and Furious 11. Let me guess, it's called a magazine, not a clip. And I don't, <laughs> I shouldn't hold it sideways. Okay. Yeah, you Good. can't be driving your Porsche 11 like, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> like, dude, you, when you're driving, you're driving 911, you're going to want to disengage the traction control. And ding, ding, bong, ding, bong. <laughs> it's not like this, ting, tong, ting, tong. <laughs> it's like this, pay it to 10 and 2, pay attention, traction control on, obey the speed limit. No, I don't think so, man.